Welcome to reviving Leangelo Ball's NBA career with the Miracle Wheel in NBA 2K22. We've already done three other Miracle Wheel videos with Taco Fall, Bull Bull, and a 40 overall player. So if you want to go see those, just check out the channel. Go to links in the description. They'll all be there. So, um, yeah, but this time we're doing Leangelo. And I know Leangelo actually has never stepped foot in an NBA game or been on an NBA team, but he was on the Charlotte Hornets G League team for a good amount of time. And as you can see here on 2K22, I have Leangelo Ball here in the G League, but he's on the Hornets. But again, he's, he's in the G League and he has a four-year contract. I gave him a four-year deal because I did a test run with him just having like a G League contract or like not really having a contract in general. And um, he ended up just not being in a league anymore after like a, a year or two. So we want to make sure he actually stays in the league so we can actually revive his career. But he's going to start off in the G League just like, you know, in real life. I think he's not on that G League team anymore. But let's just say that if he still was, this is the highest level of basketball Leandro's ever achieved in his life. So that's where we're going to have him. And here's some of his stats. He's a 68 overall i was surprised to find a face scan that actually looks really like you know like you know that's good enough and you know he's literally not in the game so you know that's probably as good as it's gonna get i, I don't even know how to describe lancho's game like he's a knockdown shooter but like he has the body of like a power forward but he's undersized like he's just, like he, he's like a 6'5 power forward who's not really a good defender but can shoot the lights out so he's definitely made for the modern nba but just like he can't play power forward no way he'll he'll be able to guard anybody you know like he needs to be able to slim down and play like that shooting guard small forward spot so he can just be a knockdown shooter for a team and here's some of his tendencies i mean listen he's a 68 overall so he's not going to be good so you know that's the whole point of the miracle wheel though to you know bless these players with an opportunity to become superstars in the nba today so you know we'll see what happens and here is the miracle wheel which is compiled of 90 to 100 different things that can happen to leangelo ball that will make him a much better player than he is now and in order to access that miracle wheel here is the challenge wheel at the start of every single season we have to complete a challenge if we complete that challenge we get a spin at the miracle wheel if we fail it then we just simulate the season like nothing happened but I saw a few comments about this in the Bull Bull video, the taco video, one of the two. You guys were suggesting that for the first season, we just give him the first Miracle Wheel spin. And then after that, we start the challenge just to kind of get the ball rolling because he can end up like not getting the Miracle Wheel spin for like three years in a row. And that could really mess up this video for Leandro. So just getting that first one out of the way will help out a lot. So I'm going to take that advice. If you guys don't like that concept, then we'll take it out for the next Miracle Wheel video you do, but just, or that we do, sorry. But you know, just let me know. And one last thing, everything is automated. I do not control anything as far as the league goes. So when he's out of the G League, that is up to the Hornets when he gets called up. That is not up to me. I'm not going to determine that. But without further ado, let's get into reviving Landro Ball's NBA career with the Miracle Wheel. Hope you guys enjoy. Leave a like, so all that fun stuff. Subscribe if you're new. And yeah, I also dropped like an almost three hour long video about Bronny James. So if you want to go check that one out, go right ahead, man. That's my last video uploaded before this one. But um, yeah, this should be a lot of fun. Let's get into it. And as I just said, no challenge for this first one. We're just going to go right into it. And for the first year, we're going to give him the Miracle Wheel just to kind of help him out and set the bar. And then after that, we we roll in the challenges. So for our first one, tendencies all 85 fouling 50. So that's actually pretty. Like if I were to pick one where it's like to not make him too overpowered for one season because you know, like we didn't do a challenge. This is a perfect spot to start just upping his tendencies. Not really gonna make him better, but will help us in the long run. So I'm gonna do exactly what the Miracle Will said and bump up his tendencies to an 85. And I always forget to mention this, but for every single championship Leangelo Ball ends up winning, I'm going to give away $10 on Twitter. So if you want to be a part of that, go follow my Twitter, all that fun stuff. And yeah, I mean, I've been, you know, people have been winning some money lately. So, you know, I mean, we'll see what happens now. He has to actually have a role in the team. He can't be not getting minutes. Like, he has to actually be in the rotation for the championship to actually count to give away money on Twitter. Leangelo has to actually be playing minutes on the team. Here's the rotation for the Hornets. Obviously, since he's in the G League, he's not even going to be on the rotation. But, you know, we got a lot of work to do. We're here, you know, starting from the ground up. We're going to do our thing. So, let's get in this first season and see how Leangelo grows and the Hornets grow. All right. And for the first season, Luka is your MVP. Rookie of the year, Cade Cunningham. Sixth man of the year, Ben Simmons on Brooklyn Defensive Player of the Year, Giannis. Most improved, Tyrese Maxey and Coach Year, Nate McMillan. Now, let's see if our guy, Leandro Ball, made an NBA team. I'm going to say probably not because he's most likely still in the G League, but we'll see. Maybe the Hornets called him up. We don't know. And the Hornets were the 12th seed. I'm actually kind of shocked there because, you know, they're actually, um, I mean, they're a pretty good young team. Lamelo's cheese in 2K, so I'm surprised they're not in the playoffs. I just actually just heard uh, Kenny Atkinson does not want to be on the Hornets anymore, so he just kind of backed out of being the coach there. So, um, that's... That's pretty wild. Anyway, let's check out the player stats. I don't think he got called up. So yeah, okay. So we're going to have to wait. Did he? He, he actually might have got called up. I, I don't know, but we'll check out his G League stats. All right. So where is Lee Angelo Ball for G League stats? He, he's, why is he not? Wait, what? How is he not here? For some reason, I do not see Lee Angelo Ball here. Maybe because we went into the playoffs. That might be why, because it says playoffs there on the top middle. So I, I don't know, but I'm not seeing him. Let's check the front office just to see if he's actually still on the team. Okay. So he's on the team and he got called up from the G League. Okay. That makes sense, but they're not letting me see his G League stats. And I can't check his stats here. So I'm not sure 
sure how to check his G League stats. Um, it's just not giving me the opportunity. I don't know what to do here. So yeah, I guess I just kind of screwed myself over with that one. But you know, it is what it is. So this year is kind of a dud. It is what it is. We'll just sim out the playoffs and see uh, who wins the championship. And the Jazz are your NBA champions. Donovan Mitchell, future Miami Heat legend. Ho hopefully, we'll see. I don't know. <laughs> I'm praying. Anyway, Dwight Howard, Iguodala, retiring Rondo. Damn. Okay. And now we're just gonna sim all the way to the next season. He's on a four-year deal, so I doubt he gets traded. I don't think anyone's making moves for 68 overall, LiAngelo Ball. But oh, I guess we can go to player progression. But I don't think he's gonna get any better. I guess we'll see though. Let's see player progression again. I really doubt he's. Is this? They pick up Westbrook. Oh my God. That's that's that that's pretty rough. But um. Yeah, oh my God. LiAngelo Ball is not on this team anymore. But he's still on a contract. So I guess we gotta figure out where he went. What if they just didn't care about his contract and just cut him? Oh, that would be bad. All right, LiAngelo Ball's on a two-way contract and he's on the Pistons. Okay, so we went from one bad team to another. So that, you know, didn't make much of a difference. And here is the Pistons roster. They have Zach Levine and Cade Cunningham. I mean, that's a pretty good duo. But um, yeah, Lanzo's on a two-way contract, so he lost his four-year deal. I'm not really sure what happened there. I'll even go to Edit Player just to check out his contract and see what happened to it, because that that's really weird. He must have got released. I don't know what else it, it could have been. Yeah, he he must have got a re release, and now he's on a two-way deal. So we're kind of pressed to make him good. If not, we're gonna have to take like some real action here just to make sure he gets back on a team. But um, you know, I want it to happen naturally, so hopefully it does. Anyway, let's go ahead and do our first challenge of the day. So that one free miracle will spin didn't help us out too much because I mean the tendencies help, but I didn't get him enough to actually be a Wow. All right. Well, <laughs> hey, I'm not, I'm not hating on it. Like I'm not, I'm not, I, I'm not mad. Like it just, you know, I was kind of in the mood to do some challenges and play some games, but I guess for the first two, we're not even going to do one. So, you know, it is what it is, but, um, yeah. All right. Well, help me out here. Let's, let's make Leangelo good enough to be on an NBA roster. And hopefully this guzzles for us plus 30 to all shooting attributes that might do it for us. That might help. So literally everything that involves shooting the basketball, obviously, like instead of like, cause the layup, I guess is technically shooting the basketball. You you know what I mean. Jump shots, shooting in general. We're going to make all of that up 30. So his close shot was a 71. It is now going to be a 99. <laughs> yeah, I guess. His midi is going to go up to a 99. His three-point shot is going to go up to a 99. So just like all that's going to get boosted. Free throws going up to a 99. Post hook is a shot, but it's not like a shoot. I don't know. That That's that's a fine line between finishing and shooting. I'm not going to give him it. I'll give him post fade though. We'll, we'll put that up to 80. Shot IQ shooting. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll put that up to a 90. That works. And I think that's it. I don't think there's any other shooting attributes. But now Leangelo is a 77 overall. So that right there just changed the game. He's actually, he's turned into what he was like in Chino Hill. Just a knockdown shooter just went crazy. They were cherry picking like crazy. That was funny to watch. But watching Chino Hills back then was crazy. I don't think he's going to be in the rotation because he's on a two. Oh, he's on a two-way deal. So I guess he'll play. But hopefully the Pistons give him a new contract where he's not on a two-way contract. So we'll see what happens. But now officially in the rotation for the Pistons. Let's go ahead and simulate the season. Okay. And Luca back-to-back -back MVP winner. Rookie of the Year, Chad Holgram, Ben Simmons, six. He's gonna win that every year for the next like four years. Defensive Player of the Year, Giannis, Most Improved, Halliburton, and Coach of the Year, Willie Green, who's on the Pelicans. Yeah, right. The algorithm. I don't know. I forget that. Anyway, let's see if Lanjo made an All NBA team. I mean, you know, no, but you know, it's all good. And the Pistons were the 13th seed, so they still suck. Kate Cunningham's not OP yet, to where he just starts winning championships like crazy. So we're not there yet, but still, you know, we're not bad. And let's check out the stats, Leangelo. Why? He, why? Why is he down in the G League and on? Why is he in the G League right now? He averaged 14 a game in the regular season. He shot 52% from the field. He shot 50% from three, attempting three and a half threes a game. How the hell is he not? How? How is this even possible? Well, I guess we just got to pray he gets a new contract with a different team. I mean, he's a 77 overall. He's got, you know, I I'm sure at least one team is going to give him an offer. And the Celtics have won the championship. Jason Tatum is your finals MVP, which is not what happened in real life because I don't want to say he stunk to join up, but I mean, he didn't play good. He had a bad game one. I don't care what you want. I know he had 13 assists and they won. I understand. But the his standards, shooting three for 17 i'm holding him as a superstar to a higher standard that's all i'm saying but you know it, it is what it is i know how he impacted the game and facilitated the ball all right here's player progression uh leangelo ball is still on the team and he's got a one-year deal and he's just in the nba so no more two-way stuff no more g league stuff he has 20 badges now oh my god i believe he had one badge before the end of last season and now he has 20 badges four finishing badges 15 shooting badges pretty much has almost all of them on bronze and a few on silver or one of them on silver and one playmaking so he's really 
really turning into a pretty good player so far with the Miracle Wheel. I guess now the mission is to get him locked into the NBAs to where like he has like a four year like $80 million contract because so far he's kind of living off one year minimum contract deals. We got to get him off that and he's just barely cracking the rotation for the Pistons. He's in it just barely cracking it. So let's see if we finally do a challenge in this video. I don't know. I'm just looking to actually like do what the video entails of but you know we'll see what happens and we got the Potal for today. I haven't done Potal in a while man. I don't know if you guys still do Potal every day or whatever it may be. I have done it in a while but you know you guys know I'm not. I'm okay at it. We'll see what happens. All right here's today's Potal. We're always going to start off with our guy Duncan Robinson. We'll see where we're at. Wow okay just literally got nothing. So he's in the Western Conference. He's a guard or he's, he's a guard <laughs> obviously because he's not a, a six foot four center but I mean he's you know relatively in his prime I guess around 27 26 years old. Okay we can work with that. So a Western Conference guard on the brink of his prime. Uh, that's, you know, I kind of like the answer of D'Angelo Russell. I feel like that's not a bad answer. Let, let's see if I'm kind of falling around with that. Okay, no. Okay, well, you know, 26 years old. I got that part right. He's not 6'4", so he's smaller than that, and he's in the Western Conference, and he's got to be like 6'. He's like 6'1". So this is a fairly small guard in the Western Conference. He's... Uh... Jeez, I'm, I'm so bad with these, bro. You know, I'm going to guess Cameron Payne and just kind of see if, like, wh where I'm at. Oh, it was actually Cameron Payne. I didn't know he was... T wow. I did not know he was 27 years old. Okay, well, I mean, I'm pretty impressed with myself. I got that in three. Cameron Payne came to mind. I knew he was a small guard. I just didn't know he was 27 years old. I took a shot at it just to help me get closer to the goal. And, um, looks like we got it. So, um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm getting pretty good at Potal, man. So, we are three for three on challenges. One was the freebie. The second was also a freebie. And the third... Third was the portal. So, you know, three fairly easy challenges to start off. Let's see what we're getting now in the Miracle Wheel. Increase all the badges by one. You don't understand what that does to someone's overall. That is going to help out Leangelo so much. So, we're going to go down to Leangelo Ball. We're going to filter by badges. And then literally watch his overall. He's a 78 right now. I'm going to flick this up once and watch what his, what his overall goes up to. He went up to an 81 overall, bro. Like, I thought it was actually going to be high. I'm not going to lie. But that's because he doesn't really have the attributes to back it up. So, you know, it just is what it is. But still, 81 overall. He's going to be a viable piece in this rotation and he has every badge in the damn game so that's pretty good too and he's not getting the start he can't start over Cade uh, you know I feel that I guess we can move Cade to the point guard spot but again I have no control over the NBA so whatever happens happens and you know he's the six man now so you know he could just be a six man of the year maybe potentially we'll see what happens all right and Zion is your MVP averaging 34 11 and 4 Victor rookie of the year Ben Simmons six again just every single time defensive player of the year Giannis most improved Jaden and Ivy and coach of the year Chris Finch for the Timberwolves who I don't think should be the coach of that team anymore I just thought he handled that series against the Grizzlies He's just so terribly. He was so bad in that series. So, you know, I, I don't think he should be the coach there. They have a lot of nice young pieces that they can really make a contending team with. I don't think he's the right coach, but it is what it is. Timberwolf fans, you can let me know. Anyway, let's check out NBA teams. I mean, I doubt it, but, you know, it, just, it, it cannot hurt the look. He's not there. And the Pistons are the third seed. So, finally, we're in the playoffs. It can make some noise. And let's check out the stats. Leangelo averaging 15 a game. He shot 49% from the field, 46% from three, 97% from the free throw line. Eh, that's pretty good. Let's see if the rotation had any changes. He went to the seventh man now. So Isaiah Stewart is their sixth man now. But I mean, Lando's their bucket getter off the bench. So, you know, it's cool. But this is a pretty good overall well-rounded team. They don't even have any 70 overalls. They have all 80s and up. And they have Cade Cunningham. So we may win the championship this year. And that might be our first giveaway. So we're playing Brooklyn in the first round. If they still have KD and Kyrie, then we're going to be in a lot of trouble. But here we go. Game one, we take. Game two, they take. Game three, that's us. Game four, that's them. So we're going to have a sim cast here at the minimum. Are we really going to take down KD? Kyrie, Ben Simmons, Joe Harris, and the Brooklyn Nets with Leangelo Ball and Cade Cunningham. I hope so. Well, I mean, it's going seven games because we just got smoked. Cade at 23, Leangelo at 18. I don't really know what my expectations right now are, are, are of Leangelo. He's not really there yet to be like a star yet. So, you know, just kind of do whatever you can. Anything that Leangelo does in the playoffs is kind of icing on the cake. And Kyrie, I mean, you know, not going to do much about that one. But here we go. Maybe get some content. I'd like to see a competitive game. I want to see I want to see plenty of content-filled games where we could see Leangelo actually play. But again, he's coming off the bench right now. So he probably won't even get into those big time moments. So, you know, kind of sucks early on, but hopefully he gets better. And um, this might be a, yeah, this is a content game. We're going to go down to 40 seconds left. Tie game. That's perfect. Let's do it. Well, it's a tie game, but Brooklyn's on the free throw line. So not really. And he missed the second. I got to change the camera. <laughs> that, that, yeah, we don't want that. All right. And Leandro's not in the game. So I guess he's just going to come down to Cade to bail us out and save us here. Go pass it out. Wide open three for Sadiq B. 
Bay, all-time leading three points made in a season for a Detroit Piston player of all time. I know that I said that wrong, but you get the point. He's their best shooter ever. Now we got to figure out, okay, they call timeout. Never mind. I was going to talk and actually say things, but, you know, never mind. They want to randomly call a timeout. Just one stop, and we're taking... Why are they wasting timeouts? It's the second time they did that. Should I do it? Should I... You know, you know what? You know what? You know what? Let me, let me, let me see if I can actually... Can I, can I do this? Is this like, is this like, you know, like, are you guys going to get mad if I do this? I know it like kind of kills some, but I feel like, oh, wait, I can't, I can't even do substitutions right now. Or is that, is that, is that what I'm getting? Oh, I can, I can. Okay. Well, we're not going to take Kata. What if we put Langela at point guard? What if we, what if we, what if we go ahead and, you know, we're going to, we're going to go, we're going to go ahead and do it. We're going to go ahead and do it. Yeah. Let's, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Is he in the game? He's in the game. Okay. 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 I got it. Okay. Okay. We're good. You know what? I don't know if you guys are going to like that one, but I'm sure you guys want to see Langela in a game seven. So I'm putting him in the damn game. KD driving shot. Missed it. Bored. We got it. Give it to Leangelo. That's our free throw shooter. We got to get it to Leangelo. Like, whoever made this Leangelo, bro, like, it looks so accurate. Shout out to whoever did this. They took Leangelo out of the game. <laughs> Man, they put Lee back in the game, bro. Like, why, like even now would be a bad time. He's clearly our best free throw shooter. Who is the coach for the Piston? Is it Dwayne Casey still, bro? You're a, no, that that is a bad coaching move. Why would you take? No, 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 no. If the if the Pistons lose because he took out our best free throw shooter, bro. No, that's gonna be a different type of insanity. Five seconds left. You better play some defense, Sammy Lee. You better lock up. Oh, you're lucky. Oh, my God. You're so lucky. Dwayne Casey almost got his job snatched because he took out our best free throw shooter. That would have been crazy. That's funny that happened. I, I cannot believe that happened. Anyway, uh, what happened in this game? Lindro Ball shot 3 for 10, so he, he didn't play too well, but still, he would have knocked down those free throws if he would have had to, man. Just, you know, saving league. Really, really choked there, bro. That was tough. God damn, Durant had 46. Kyrie had 23. And now we're on the second round to face the Magic. I don't really know how. They have a lot of young players, so they're probably just a very balanced team, but they probably have no one over the top crazy, so we should take care of business here, and it looks like it's going to be a sweep. Okay, they got one gentleman's game, and then, yeah, okay. And now we have Cleveland in the Commerce Finals. They just, uh, the Philly just blew a three one lead against them so now we're playing cleveland they got garland jared allen and uh moby so they're a pretty good team at this point so let's see what we can do game one they take game two we take game three we take game four they take so we're gonna have a simcast game and we're potentially gonna go to the finals man if langelo can get a chip here just to start his career off and then we just progressively get better that would be a very good way to start this video out and unless we're going to the finals it's looking like it's gonna be a blowout of cleveland whoa wait, wait 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 cleveland's make cleveland's making a run i think i need to hop into this they're down two with the ball and Leangelo's in the game I didn't put him in the game. He was already in the game at small forward. He's going to be guarding marketing. Wait, when did the Pistons get Kuzma? I didn't even notice that, but uh, all right. Well, it is what it is. Anyway, Garland trying to make a move. Blowing by Saban. Oh, he smoked that. That was bad. We got to get Leangelo a shot. That's got to be the move. Get Leangelo a white... Guys, what are we doing? Oh, wait, the Pistons have Victor? I didn't even know we drafted him. I, I had no idea, but that's a, that's a great pass and a finish by Victor. That right there may have taken us to the finals. Just no threes, and we're good. Okay, he's going to drive by Floater. Get that shit out of here, and we are going to the finals. Let's check out the stats of this game. Leangelo Ball in a closeout game with 21 points shot, 8 for 10, 2 for 2 from 3, and 3 for 3 from the free throw line. Played fantastic. This could be our year with a rookie victor, or first or second year, whatever it may be. And then we got Cade Cunningham. We got Leangelo. We got the big three right here. Let's get it done. And we're playing the algorithm in the NBA finals. Let's see who they got. They got Zion as a 90. 97 overall. Oh my God, he got really good quickly, but they got Ingram. They got McCollum, Herb Jones, Ch Trey Murphy, Kira Lewis Jr. Pretty good team, but again, you know, the Pelicans always know how to win. And our rotation does not change. Leandro's still the seventh man, but let's get it done. Here we go. Game one of the finals, the Pelicans take. Game two, the Pistons take. Game three, the Pistons take. Game four, looks like an NBA championship is coming back to Detroit after 20 years. Yeah, <laughs> okay. We'll go ahead and sim cast this one. This could potentially be his first championship, so, you know, we want to see Leangelo celebrate with the trophy, have fun with his buddies, but I guess we're not doing that in this game because the Pelicans are not going, they're not going away. Zion had 32, 12, and 6. Ingram 29, 7, and 5. This is this is straight Algo stuff right here. Hopefully, wow. Leangelo Ball shot 10 free throws. God damn, he was foul baiting like crazy. Come on, let's not blow a 3-1 lead, guys. That would not be good for Leangelo Ball's resume. That would not help him out. Uh, Pelicans are going on a run here in the third quarter. They're looking pretty good, and they just blew us out back-to-back -back games, so now we gotta go seven games 
with New Orleans. And Zion with 38, 15, and 9. Trey Murphy with 37. Like, this is the type of stuff that the Pelicans do. That is why their nickname, the algorithm, exists. They just do things you would never expect. And uh, Leandro actually played a pretty good game, but uh, Cade didn't step up. He played pretty bad for his standard. And now we have the final game of the NBA season. Game 7. Are we actually going to blow a 3-0 lead? Oh my god, this game is in New Orleans, and they're just... Oh my god, they're lighting us up. They're lighting us up. We have to keep it close. We're keeping it close. Just stay close until around like a minute left so we can hop in and watch this game seven. And I swear to God, I'm subbing in Leangelo. I don't care. We're watching this happen. Okay, 48 seconds left. Down two. We got to watch. Leangelo is in the game, but they're down two without the ball. So they got to get a stop and they got to get the ball back and score. Leangelo, lock it up. Good defense. Good defense, Leangelo. Go, go, go. You got to push it. Give it to Cade. Cade, pull. Oh my God. Bang! Good shot, baby. Good shot. I'm surprised he didn't take the three, but hey, we'll take it. This is for Leangelo's first championship. Needs to get another stop. Lock that up, Leangelo. Good defense, baby. Good defense, baby. Good defense. Oh, my God. Leangelo looking like 2014 Kawhi Leonard. Gonna need to get a score here. That's a mismatch right there. Stewart on Ingram. He's got the size and the strength. You gotta post him up. Cade's playing it smart, though. Holding the ball right now. Wait. Are we getting a play for Leangelo? Leangelo. Oh, no. No, Victor. Oh, bro, the fact that they drew up a play for Leangelo is actually funny, bro. That's funny, and we're going to overtime. And now this game is in the faith of the overtime simcast. If we could just keep it close, down with a minute left. Oh my, oh my God, we went on a run. Uh, we might, okay, it's a four-point game. I guess we should hop in. Why not? You know, we'll, okay, 42 seconds is fine. And the Pistons have the ball, so this game is looking over if we just score one more time. Get it in. Are they going to foul? They're not fouling. They're double-teaming, though. That's smart. Get it to Cade. Oh, okay. Split the double. Oh, Cade with the two clutch buckets to send it into overtime and to pretty much close out this finals game. As long as they don't hit a three, like, real quick here with, you know, like, maybe 30 seconds left. But we should be fine, you know. I I'm feeling pretty good. Call him. Sure. Bricked it. That's game, baby. And the Detroit Pistons are your NBA champions. Leonzo already getting his first ring, and he was a very viable part of this ring. He may have not been the best player, but he literally got two stops in a row on Brainerd Ingram for us to tie the game, send it into overtime, and then win it in overtime. He was a big part of it. And that's also going to be $10 added to the pot to give away on Twitter. So again, if you want to be a part of that, go follow me on Twitter. We're almost at 10,000 followers. Want to try to get there. So um, yeah, no surprise there. Cade getting the finals MVP. Hold hard Lee deserves it, so, you know, gotta, gotta tip your cap. Let's check out the box score. Lee, Angelo Ball with the two big stops, 22, 4, and 5, 9 for 16 from the field, knocked down a three, man. His whole life has changed in a matter of three or four years, and that is what the Miracle Wheel does, baby. That is what the Miracle Wheel does. Anyway, the Pistons are your NBA champions. Cade Cunningham is your finals MVP, man. I'm looking forward to another good year. Hopefully, Leandro gets re-signed to this team, and we just keep gunning for championships. And we're gonna go right the player progression and see if i mean i guess if he gets any better or at least if he just maintains to stay on this team check out the player progression and it looks like he decided to take his talents elsewhere meanwhile the pistons now have halliburton and Cade and victor so they're gonna be a pretty tough team to beat at any part in this video so um yeah they're gonna be op as hell for the next two decades so i'm gonna send to the end of the season or to the start of the season and we're gonna find out where leangelo is leangelo ball is currently not on an nba team so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is simulate a month in the season and if he's not on a team then we're just gonna i guess randomly put him onto one so i hope he does join a team but we're gonna have to simulate a month i guess i could still do can i edit players from this sec or i can go to free agency and do it so i guess we should still spin the miracle World right now because then he could just get better and join a team anyway so we'll see what happens let's let's, let's do our challenge i'm waiting to get a challenge where i have to actually play a game and not like a web browser thing or just flipping a coin just some random nonsense let's actually play a game fifa 22 versus score fifa 20 eh, sorry FIFA 22 became free on PlayStation like a few weeks ago or maybe even like a month ago. So I downloaded it. So, um, yeah, I decided that FIFA 22 on this. Let's go get it. All right, we're playing Volta football because I'm not good at the actual FIFA game. So it's first to score on one of our teams. Oh, my God. I'm pushing it. I'm pushing it. I got it. I got it. Okay, well, that wasn't a good start. Hold on. I got you. Okay, I, <laughs> listen, bro. I'm not last time I... Oh, score. Give me it. No, why would you not pass me the ball? Like, I would. that would have been so easy. Oh, yeah. My fault. I would have had that. Oh, okay. Kick it in. Pass it. Oh, 
let's go. All right, well, that was easy. You know, I didn't really do too much there. But, uh, yeah, if I would have did regular, like, a regular match, we would have got our asses kicked. So don't even tell me about that. Like, I I've tried it. I, I, don't, I don't even get close to scoring a goal on, on regular online. So every single challenge we've had so far has been relatively easy, man. This is this has been kind of... I, don't, I, I want a hard challenge, though. I, I, I'm waiting to get a hard challenge. And our uh, we just got fully customized signatures, which actually helps because uh, Leandro had a pretty slow jumper there I saw in the, play in the game we had. So we can just really do anything we want with Leandro and make him as good as we want as far as the signature goes. So I'm, I'm going to do everything I can. His jump shot is Amari Stoudemire. Jesus Christ. I mean, well, I, I'll just make it very quick, but God damn, this is an ugly ass shot, man. It definitely looks like his jumper. Like I see it, but just, it just doesn't look smooth at all. And it's just not going to help us. Yeah. I like that. Giving him a base of like clay Thompson, like, and it's still having his sort of release there. I, I, I think that looks pretty good. So we'll do this. I'll leave it at clay Thompson. That's fine. Free throw shooting's fine. He's not going to miss them anyway. Layup package. Okay. We got to go something. Ooh, we'll, we'll give him the jelly. Ooh, yeah, that's going to be hard. Go to dunk package. I'm giving Leandro Ball everything crazy, bro. We're getting him Zion dunk packages. We're doing we're doing everything, bro. <clears throat> I'm giving him Westbrook. I'm going to give him Levine. Michael Jordan. That's a pretty good player. Uh, we'll get, why is CJ McCollum in here? We'll do LeBron. And I'll add one more. We'll give him Ben Simmons. Post game, do they have like Kobe's fade in here? I'll, I'll give him that. Yeah, sure. We'll, get, we'll give him Kobe's fade and we'll give him Kareem's skyhook. That, that's nice. Ball handling. Okay, we need, we need to give him some crazy ball handling. Let's get, I don't know who has the best handles in the game. Game. Um, so we're just gonna kind of look around. Maybe I guess I give him Harden. That'd be kind of hard to have. Either Harden or Paul George. I do like Paul George, one of my favorite players in the league, bro. I do love Paul George. This is a toss. I, I guess I'll give him Harden handles. I'll give him Kawhi size up. And these other ones I'm not gonna touch because they're gonna mess up up him. Like like moving hesitation, Larry Bird. I probably can't change that to something else. So we're gonna leave that. And then I guess pregame stuff. I, I don't I don't know. Touchdown pass, sure, whatever. And we'll have him chew gum because why the hell not? All right. Well, that's all the signatures. That hopefully makes him play better when the game actually goes down. So um, yeah, it looks pretty good. It's not going to help him overall wise, but you know, it'll help when he actually gets in games. But now we actually have to get onto a team. So I'm going to simulate up to January. So we're going to sum to the new year and hopefully by then he is on a roster. And after simulating up to January 1st, he actually joined a team. He's on the Hawks now. So there we go. And he's on a one year deal. So again, next year, we're going to have to get him better. He has 36 badges. He's an 81 overall. He's young. Like, I don't, I don't know why he's like just getting kind of kicked to the curb right now, but we got to make him better fast. And here's the rotation for the Hawks. He actually starts at the shooting guard spot. And this is a pretty good team as well. They don't have the depth that our Piston team had, but they're still very good. Potentially a playoff contender, so we'll see what happens, and we'll see how good Leangelo does on the Hawks. All right, and Carl Anthony Towns is your MVP. Gregory Jackson, Rookie of the Year. Ben Simmons, again, for the four straight year. Six Man of the Year, Defensive Player of the Year. Giannis, most improved Jose Alvarado, and Coach either Chris Finch for the Timberwolves. Let's see if our guy Leangelo made a team Trey Young did. Maybe Leangelo? Nope. Okay, that's fine. And the Hawks are the fifth seed, so again, they got in the playoffs. They were like the tenth seed when uh, we were at January 1st, so they actually got better with Leangelo there, so that's pretty good to see. And let's check out the stats. Leangelo averaging six in a game, shooting 50% from the field, 45% from three, and 98% of the free throw line. So we'll see what happens in these playoffs. I don't think we're going to go far. I mean, unless Trey Young just goes crazy and keeps averaging 31 and 10, maybe that could happen. I don't know. We'll find out. And we have our old team in the first round. Anyway, we have the Pistons in the first round. Game one, we take. Game two, they take. Game three, we take. Game four. Wow. Are we really going to beat that? We really just beat that Pistons team? Bro, this Pistons team is so good. They have Cade, Victor, and Halliburton, bro. I don't know how, I don't know how we beat them. I have no idea. That's insane. Now we have Orlando in the second round. I mean, again, they just have a very balanced, well put together team, so they might beat us. Game one, they take. Game two, we take. Game three, they take to go up 2 1. Game four, we take. So we're going to get a Simcast game, and we're up 3 2. Is having Leangelo Ball on your roster in the rotation the key to winning a championship? So far, that's been true. So, you know, we'll see, we'll see if we can keep winning, but this might be going seven. Yeah, it looks like it's going seven. We're not making that comeback. All right, we're going seven. Trey Young with 39 and 10. Okay, where was Leangelo? Six points. We got to be better than that, bro. And Chet Holgram with uh, 24. 4, 13, and 5. That guy's pretty good. We've been through a game 7 before, okay? This is nothing new to Leangelo Ball. Maybe for Trey Young and other players, whatever. But for us, it's nothing new. And we're getting down to the last 5 minutes, and we just smoked them in that 4th quarter. We're in that quarter 32-17, to 17, and we're going to the Cowboys Finals. Nick Wright approves. Young Hawks Crash Magic. Thank you, Nick. My favorite, um... Uh, sports analyst. Trey with 39 and 11 and 7 rebounds. Leangelo Ball with 16, 5 and 5. That's all he needs to do. If he comes in and puts up 15, 18 points a game, knocks down some timely shots and does his thing, like that's all we got to see. And now we have the Cavs in the conference finals who are a very good team. So let's see what we can do. Game one, Hawks take. Game two, Cavs take. Game three, Cavs take. Game four, okay. Well, you know what? We had a good run there. This Hawks team wasn't very overwhelming. So not surprised, but still made a, made a, made a good run. And the Cavs are the NBA champions. Garland is your finals MVP. 
MVP. So again, we made a good run. Some retirements. Kevin Love, Holiday, D Rose, Gallinari. Not bad. And we'll take our ass to player progression and see if Langell got any better. At least, you know, the Hawks gave him a contract. I mean, when they made the conference finals, you would think as their starting shooting guard, they would try to keep him. All right, here's the player progression. And Leangelo is still on the team. He's got another one year deal. So he's still living off those one year deals. Has yet to get a contract more than two years, except for when this video first started, which I gave him that contract. And then it quickly went away after the season anyway. So has yet to actually be integrated into the NBA like that and just like kind of be in the know how, but still staying on teams and on a pretty good one. So we'll see how we end up. And here we are in season number what? Season number six? How long you been in the three years? Uh, what? How? I, oh, I guess he was on like a, a two way contracts and all that kind of stuff. So I guess it's a technical third year. I don't know, but still, we've been doing it for about five, six years. And let's go ahead and spin that challenge world. Come on, man. I'm looking for something actually challenging from the challenge world. We're kind of embarrassing ourselves where we got three free breeze, free breeze, whatever. Win a twos game at the park. All right. Well, here we go. Um, again, I'm going to try my best to actually get a game. So, you know, we'll do, I'll do my best. Can you guys hop on the court? There are four people here. Just hop on and play basketball. Why is that so hard? There's no way people genuinely care about their park record in June. Like, this is the most insane shit I've ever seen. Bro, I, I actually hate this game. I actually genuinely hate this game on how people do not just play the game with random people. Everything has to be a guaranteed win for people. This is so stupid. I just need one person to play with me. I just need one person. And nobody wants to play, bro. Like, this is so absurd, bro. Like, I'm so done. I'm going over here to try to play over here and see what happens because like I just I, I I just don't get it bro play let's play everyone stay on just play the game it's a basketball virtual game in the middle of June everyone just stay on be happy and we're gonna play all right wow we're actually gonna play a game because nobody wants to play twos with me even though they've never seen me play before in their lives so even and even if I suck who cares but you know let's get into it I got a 97 and 80 on my team I don't care if both of them average 0.5 points a game bro I just want to play the game like I don't care oh good move Dang, look at that, baby. I'm heating up already. You can give me the ball now. Maybe. I don't know. Whatever you want to. Oh, oh, that's a great shot, dude. That's awesome. That's an awesome shot. Kick it out. You want to kick it out? You want to kick it out? Want to kick it out? Want to kick it out? All right. I'm gone. Hey, let's go. Someone pick him up. Okay or not. All right. Nice, guys. Yep. All right. That's cool. Oh, cook up then. Cook up then. Oh, good shot, baby. Why is no one guarding that guy? What is happening? Why is no one guarding that guy? I got that greed. Come on, man. I'm doing my thing right now. Get in your bag right there. Ooh, look at that. Look at that defense. Okay, is someone going to pick up the, the guy the guy shooting? Okay, well, we're good. I'm down the court. All right, all right cool, man. I'm wide open, man. All right, good shot, man. Yeah, that that's a great shot. All right, he's open. I'll hit him. Bang, bang. Come on. What? There's no way you just missed that. That's a crazy shot. My board. There you go. That guy hasn't touched the ball in a while, so I wanted to give him it. Okay, nice shot. There we go. Dot. Pull up. Good shot. Bang. And we're going to end it off with a dunk. <laughs> Psych. I'm about to tween. Cross. Tween. Pull. Game. Damn. All right. We can end this. We can end this. We can end this. Someone just make a shot. I'm, I'm, I'm already I'm already done. <laughs> Come on. I just want to get back to the miracle wheel. Bro, just pass the ball to the dude in the yellow short. Okay. Or just hit that. Okay. Well, we got our win. The team we played, the one dude just didn't play defense. He literally just cherry picked. So, um, yeah, we just played three on two for most of that. So it's kind of two on two, you know, kind of just, you know, it is what it is, but we got the win. And let's go ahead and spin that miracle wheel to see where we're going to get now. I mean, I, we, we just need like, I guess like defense. Defense would be nice. Potential. Okay. That right there is going to keep him in the league. Yeah, that'll that'll go ahead and do it. 99 potential, that, that might do it. So let's go to Leangelo Ball, go all the way over to potential, which his is at a 82 right now. So we're going to bump it all over to a 99. So yeah, that'll that'll get him a big contract for sure, even though he is 26 years old right now, but he'll, he can still get better. So let's go ahead and sim with the season. So I guess we've actually only done four years. So this will be the fifth year maybe because starting in 2021, 2022, then two, three, or sorry, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, and this is five, six. So this is the fifth year. So I guess that wasn't too far off when I said it was is going to be his fourth year, but that one year didn't count because he was in the G League, I guess, or on a two-way deal, so whatever. Okay, and Luka is your MVP, Rookie of the Year, Brandon Bailey. I think they're fake players at this point, or maybe just one more year of not being fake players. Sixth Man of the Year, Cam Thomas, Defensive Player of the Year, Jonathan Isaac, Most Improved, Victor, and Coach of the Year, Elisha Samuel. I don't know what team he's, I don't know, uh, okay, for the Kings, okay. And let's see NBA teams if Leangelo Ball wants to make it. I thought that said Leangelo. I thought, I actually, okay, it's LaMelo, all good, it's fine. If a Ball Brother's making it, then we're all happy. And the Hawks are the fourth seed, so we're going to be competing again, hopefully make the finals this time 
and we got kind of screwed by Cleveland. They smoked us, so we'll see. And the stats this season, Leangelo dropping 16 a game, so he's been keeping up that 16 point per game average for, you know, the last like three years, and he's been, you know, shooting 49% from the field. Definitely down on his three point percentage, but I mean, the man's almost shooting perfect from the free throw line, even though he doesn't get there too often. He's just pretty much a shooter at this point until, you know, we actually we make him better with the Miracle Bowl, so we'll see. And we're playing the Bulls, who don't have Levine anymore, so I don't really know who they have. The Rosen's probably too old. I don't even know. I, I have no idea who's on this team. Anyway, game one, we take. Game two, they take. Game three, we take. Game four, they take. So we're getting a sim cast in game five, we take. Again, I have no idea who's on this Bulls team. I mean, I guess like a very good Patrick Williams and then like Kobe White. Like, I, I don't know. Maybe they signed a big free agent. That, that's also possible. But this game's going to be close coming out to the wire. I think Chicago's got it. I mean, two point game with 13 seconds. I'll give it a chance. And the Bulls have the ball. So we're going to have to get a steal. If we don't get a steal, then this shit's over. They're going to inbound and they got it in there. Henry, he, oh my God. He almost went backcourt. That would have been crazy. Well, if he misses one, I guess we still have a chance, but I doubt. He missed one. Can you miss another one, Scoot? Go ahead, buddy. He made one. All right, so we got to knock down a three here. No timeouts. Leangelo on the court. Eight seconds left. You got to get to a shooter. Jello. Oh, <laughs> you know what? Not a bad try. I don't hate it. We'll, we'll, you know, we'll go to game seven. That's the first shot we've seen Leangelo shoot at a first clutch shot. So, you know, he just couldn't knock it down, but it is what it is. I mean, Scoot dropped 48, bro. What are you going to do? So now we're going to see if Leangelo closes it out here in the first round. And we're smoking them there in the first half, but they definitely made their comeback. And they're, wow, they're really coming back. And I think they just smoked us back. They had a 42 to 23rd quarter and they just smoked us. Wow. So we're out in the first round. Leangelo, very underwhelming numbers, but it is what it is. At least he's going to get a big contract this summer because he has 99 potential so you know he, he will stay in the league for a long time and we'll go ahead and simulate the playoffs and uh you know i guess see what happens and the timberwolves are the the nba champs and your father's mvp i just watched that movie hustle with him and he was pretty funny in it so um yeah that was a good movie if you didn't go watch that and we're here in player progression and just somehow some way leangelo ball is down and overall after i gave him 99 potential his potential must have already shot down from 99 down to like an 85 so that's unfortunate but you know what are you gonna do so here here we are for season number six for Leangelo. I guess we can look at his stats right now and see how his career has panned out so far. The Miracle Wheel has not blessed him as hard as we wanted it to, but still we have plenty of time. So, you know, there's no means to rush. Let's go to see what our next challenge is. I mean, we've won every single challenge, right? Or maybe we didn't win one of them. No, I think we've won every single challenge. The, the rewards from the, the Miracle Wheel just haven't been that enticing. Get a kill in COD 4 without down. I actually have to skip this one because I actually uninstalled COD 4 because it was a big file. So I don't have that installed. So we got to do a different challenge. Let's go ahead and see what we got next. And it's going to be Connect 4. So 4 still in the title. That was a pretty dumb thing to say. But still, I, I don't know why it was the first thing that popped in my head. But let's go ahead and try to win a Connect 4 game online. All right, I think we're online. I'm going to go ahead and just take my first spot there in the middle. I, you know, can't go wrong there. And uh, I guess we're going to wait for my guy here to make his spot. And he decides to go right on top of me. So I'm going to go to the left here. And if I get this... Okay, well, yeah, that, you know what? That was the smart play. I can't, I can't really hate on that. I'm going to go diagonal from him and see what his next move could be. And he hits me on the bottom left left there okay not a bad strategy i see what he's doing i'm gonna put myself i guess right here not a bad spot okay he goes right above me okay not bad i'm gonna go diagonal here and then he's probably gonna go there and then i can go up here but that's not really gonna help me anyway but it'll help me on this right side so you know we'll figure that out when we have to but he already has three in a row right here so i can't let him get this spot right here we can't let him get that but so i want him to go here though because i need to have a threat as well he already has one this dude's taking a long ass time to make his pick bro like it's not that serious like i know i'm trying to revive landro's career here like in this is like very important in his career but like it, it, it ain't that deep oh it's my turn where did he go oh he went right here okay well then i guess oh well if i go there he's gonna go up there so that that's obviously a trap so i think i'm gonna go down here here would be smart um yeah we'll go down there yeah why not and let's see where he goes i mean he, he literally can only go one spot if he doesn't if he doesn't go the one spot then i win it's just kind of okay yeah yeah obviously obviously has to go there i will then go i guess i'll go here that can't hurt right he's probably gonna go bottom left or he's gonna go right up here so whichever one i'm just gonna block off okay yeah so he went up there so i'm gonna block him down here i'm not gonna lie he definitely is better positioned than me right now but i definitely still have some potential on some other spots so i'm not, I'm not completely out of it yet but you know i'm not really feeling too good about it he's got it he's kind of got me closed in right here so i gotta definitely figure out some alternatives so if i go okay i'm gonna go i'm gonna go uh well wait he could go no yeah he has a he has a connect four in three spots in a row like here like they're all like different spots so i'm, I'm gonna go i'm gonna go here see how he reacts to that it's my turn already where did he go 
I don't, I don't even, oh, he went right here. Okay, so he went right there. If I were to go there, obviously I lose there. And then, you know what? I want, I think I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go here. Let's see what he's got up his sleeve. I'm trying to avoid going in all the spots. I, I don't have much time. Okay, so yeah, he's going to block me off there, obviously. I'll go here though. I mean, I kind of have to. He's going to block it off though, obviously. Okay, yeah, there he goes. He blocked it off. Um, Now I obviously have to go here because if I don't go here, then I'm screwed. So there we go. Okay, he's taking the high ground on this one. I'm going to start going on the, oh, I see what he wants to go. He wants to go right here wants to get it right here so i think i should just block this right now that would be smart yeah let me block that right now just so he doesn't have that okay so he's got two here this is nothing he's not doing anything there so i'm gonna go i'm gonna go right here i want him to yeah that's 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 gotta be the shadow oh my god I'm, i might win this okay no he played it smart yeah so he's gonna go there and then i'm gonna go here and block him off yeah he did oh oh my god he didn't why didn't he block me off? I, the, the, my mission was to make sure we tied. Like, I was like, because I knew I didn't have anything. So I was like, let me block him off here. And he just didn't do it. Because if I if he would have went here, then I would have went here and blocked all three, all two of his connect fours here. We would have just had nothing. And I, and wow. Okay, so I just got the win there. That was, I was in a bad spot for most of that and made a big comeback. So um, that was, that was a great win. And that connect four game could have easily been the thing that changes this entire video. Seeing what happens to LiAngelo Ball right now. Hopefully something good. RNG overall 85 to 99 or minimum overall. So now I'm going to ask your number between 85 and 99. Ever number she says overall that Leangelo Ball is going to become. Pick a number between 85 and 99. That would be 85. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. No, that 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 that's dick suck. Okay, wh whatever, bro. Well, at least Leangelo's gonna get better, just not to the stage that I actually wanted him to. But you know, what are you gonna do? We'll make him 85 right there. Let's see what his potential's at. It is at a 98, so his potential's still up there. Um, but uh, I really wish we could have did better with that one. We had, we had a real chance to capitalize on that. But what are you gonna do? And by the way, it said or minimum overall. That is because so just in case, like let's say for example, I was a 95 overall, right? I was a 95 overall, and I landed on RNG overall 85 to 99. It wouldn't make sense for me to go down to 95. So it would have to be between 95 and 99. So that's why it says or minimum overall. All right, and LaMelo Ball is your MVP again. If one of the balls win an award, then I guess we all. That's going to get taken out of context. But anyway, rookie of the year, Jay Hopkins. Sixth man of the year, Markel Fultz. Defensive player of the year, Jonathan Isaac. Most improved, Jalen Lewis. And coach of the year, Stephen Silas for the... Oh my God, I feel like a casual team. Okay, he's on the Rockets. Okay, okay, okay. Anyway, Langelo, but Langelo. LaMelo on the first team. Let's see if... Uh, yeah, I doubt it. Okay. And the Hawks are the third team. So we're getting better, you know? I mean, Langelo literally did get better. So that makes sense. And he put up a solid 18 points points a game. That's the most points he scored in his career so far. He shot 50% from the field, 47% from three, and almost shooting for perp from the free throw line, but again, doesn't get there too often. How many minutes does Leandro get? He gets 29 minutes a game. Okay, that's not bad. They have a pretty, not, not really that deep of a team, but they got a lot of young guys. All right, well, we got Orlando in the first round. Game one, they take. Game two, they take. Game three, they, th this is great, man. Oh, that was great content, man. We just, You know what? We were due for just a straight 2K algo, just us getting screwed over, so, you know, I'm not surprised about it, so we're just going to submit the playoffs. I gotta say, the 2K sim process has been fairly kind to us throughout most this video. We went to, we won a championship. We went to a couple conference finals. I can't be mad at that. You know, we, we were due for the 2K algo just to screw us over. So I'm fine. So let's go to player progression. Hopefully that, you know, that 98 overall potential actually helps him out a little bit. And Leangelo is an 82 overall. He went down three overalls, but he got himself a four year, $110 million contract. So he has cemented himself into the NBA. He's good to go. We just got to make him better. And that's going to come down to us. Actually, we've won every single time. Like, I don't know what else you want me to do here. <laughs> like, I feel like we've been getting some pretty good stuff. Leangelo just hasn't really capitalized on it as much as we've wanted him to. Anyway, season number seven, I believe. I mean, statistically for him, I think it's season number six. But again, there was that one year before that one. So season number seven. But uh, again, man, he's, he's progressively gotten better every single season. So I can't hate it. It just, you know, he hasn't turned into the superstar yet. And hopefully he turns into that. Let's get into this next challenge. I've been on a roll on every single challenge here, man. All the skill challenges, the random challenges. I've been doing it all. And we have Google Feud three answers. So we have to go into Google Feud and I have to solve three of the, whatever the prompt is, I have to get three of them right. All right. So I guess we'll do the question of the day. I mean, you know, I could do all these other ones. Food, entertainment, culture, people, names, whatever. We'll do question of the day. That's fair. Can sharks eat people? That's gotta be one. Okay, no. Can sharks eat humans? Is is that? the Okay, humans is one of them. Can sharks eat fish? Oh my! Oh! Oh! Well, that was nice. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna keep trying. That. I'm gonna see if I get another one. Can sharks eat? I'm gonna say whales. Is whales one? Yep. Can sharks eat whales? I'm sure people ask that. Can sharks eat? I don't know what other ones there would really be on this one. Coral? Can sharks eat coral? Is that one? Okay, that's not one. I tried on that. Can sharks eat food? Is that is that one? Okay, alright, my bad. <laughs> my, my fault. Can sharks eat plants? Let's try that. Oh, okay, plants was there. Alright, I got plants. That was another one. Can sharks eat squid? Is that one? Okay, it's not squid. What, what were the other ones? Can sharks eat turtles, dolphins, 
other sharks and crabs okay i should have probably got crabs i feel like i should have got that but hey man i got what one two three four five six of them i technically also got three of them because i know fish like was like four of them on its own but i got humans i got fish and then i got plants so i got three anyway so here we go another crack at the miracle world. we just need something crazy to happen to him bro we just need something insane so whatever that can be let's have it happen right away all playmaking attributes 99 that is exactly what i need to see all right so let's go to edit player we're gonna go all the way over to his playmaking attributes we're gonna make his pass accuracy a 99 ball handling a 99 speed with ball going all the way up to a 99 hands i don't know if that falls into playmaking but i'm gonna give him it I, I don't know what category hands really falls into so i'll give him it passing iq 99 vision 99 and i believe that's it i don't think there's any other ones that have to do with playmaking i think so yeah that's it all right well we got everything 99 that works out for me all right and leangelo leangelo I, I gotta stop doing that lamello ball mvp casey dunn rookie of the year uh senjun six man of the year Giannis defensive player of the year on the suns all right well that's a weird one uh james most improved player chris finch goes to year again for the timberwolves still yeah he's killing it over there so maybe i don't know what the hell i'm talking about anyway let's see nba teams doubt my guy leangelo's gonna be there but that's okay and the hawks again are the third seed so you know i guess we'll see what happens there we got cleveland in the first round and they're a pretty damn good team unless they lost some of their players and leangelo averaged 15 a game average eight assists a game there we go that's the big difference is that, that i mean that's obviously his highest but you know what even before that he was still getting a good amount of assists i didn't know I, I wasn't actually watching his assists i didn't think he was getting like that he was getting six assists a game 6.4 6.1 but it definitely obviously improved but still you know is what it is let's go in and play cleveland game one we take game two they take game three we take game four they take so we're getting a sim cast in game five they take i think every single time we've been in a game six so far this video we've been up three two so this is the first time we're down three two and um hopefully we can force a game seven and it looks like we're gonna do that coming down to the last minute yeah we're gonna do it trey young with 34 and 12 langelo with 15 6 and 12 oh my god filling up the stat sheet and we're playing a game seven in atlanta come on langelo you gotta get this one done baby we are in the fourth quarter the Cavs are making their run a 15 to 8 run in the fourth quarter this is over bro yeah that's it they're up 20 that's wraps well but another first round exit man trey young's been kind of carrying low key we, we need we need other people to step up this team just really isn't that that crazy we just need a better team overall this guy booker though is pretty good he just didn't show out in the playoffs five points 10 rebounds five assists he did shot two for 14 in game seven bro one for nine from three so another year without a championship for langelo ball even though we already got one and he played a very significant role in that championship if you didn't see that ring but um yeah man that was a pretty wild championship all right player progression liangelo down to an 81 there is nothing you can do to make this guy better like i i, I do not understand what's going on this is an actual disgrace and here's the rotation for season number eight i believe and uh liangelo you know still getting his 26 minutes we just got god damn bro we got to make him better and i can't complain about the miracle world because i mean we've won every single challenge so like i don't really know what else i'm really supposed to say there but let's see what we got roll a die even numbers so go and trade rng with this one all right here we go we need an even number three two one roll it and there we go baby all right so we, we won the roll die 50 percent chance we got it to go just we need something crazy we we, we can't we got to make him a 90 overall instantly so he stays good because this is just getting ridiculous come on miracle world just bless us with something crazy i know there's a lot of very balanced thing on this wheel that's supposed to make the video fun and him to progressively get better but he's just been at a standstill we need to make him better all rebounding attributes 99 now that doesn't really do too much because it's really only two rebounding stats but i guess we'll take it his speed with ball dropped down 25 how did that even oh uh, in one season his speed with ball dropped down 25 that that is insane anyway let's go to his rebounding so yeah he's very low rebounding numbers but i mean you know i mean i don't really know why he's gonna be out there rebounding like that but i guess he'll be the best rebounder on the team so you know can't complain there so let's simulate the season and uh see what happens all right and luca is the mvp on the pelicans rookie of the year patrick alexander six man of the year since june to get defensive player of the year Giannis on the suns most improved stanley matthews and coach of the year willie green still on the pelicans yes he is and uh again i really doubt leangelo will make a team but you know oh uh, oh boy he's on the jazz what, 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 okay, I don't know if what I'm more shocked about him being on the Jazz or him making All NBA second team. Probably him making All NBA second team. That's probably the more shocking thing. And he made it with Lonzo. Oh my God! And the, the Lamelo. Oh my God! All three of the ball players made an NBA team. That's amazing, bro. So now I gotta go switch to Utah. Are they in the playoffs? Are they like in contention? Are they in the play-in? Where, where are they at? Okay, they're in the play they're the 10th seed. Let's see how this trade happened. Where? How, how did they get Leangelo? Let's see. They traded Devin Vassell in a second round pick for Leangelo. That's insane. They just threw Leandro at a curb like that for Devin Vassell. De Devin Vassell.
Marcel's a good player, bro, but damn, for Leangelo, that's crazy. Anyway, Leangelo averaging 19 a game, 9 rebounds a game, and 7. Holy shit, he's turning the Westbrook. Anyway, he's shooting 50% from the field, 42% from 3. Not the shooting part, obviously. Random, just my fault on that one. But anyway, <laughs> he shot 98% from the free throw line, so, you know, he did, he did good. But uh, this is obviously not a playoff team. This team is not good. I guess we'll simcast versus the Nuggets. I mean, even if we win this game, we still got to win another one. Uh, I, don't, I have no idea, but, you know, whatever. Coming down to the fourth quarter, it's a relatively close game. I am not hopping into a Denver Utah playing game. So, okay, Denver won. D Mitchell 21. Where's our where's our guy? Leandro 13, 4, and 8. Not bad, but just, you know, this team is kind of ass, and we're not going to beat Jokic. So, guess we'll go ahead and sim at the playoffs. So, again, other than that one kind of, it wasn't a miracle run because we still played good after that, but it felt like a miracle run. We got that one ring with the Pistons, and that's been about it so far. I don't know why we we left that team, man. I don't know why we did that. Anyway, here's player progression. Leangelo stayed at an 85. So, okay, that's a good sign. He's 30 years old. His rebounding went up to an A+, plus, as we saw before. But at least he, you know, stayed up. So, I don't know what the hell kind of a career he's having right now. But I guess we'll take it. Season number nine, I think. Eight for Leangelo, I think. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, yeah, seven. And then he had the year 2021, 2022, which he played but didn't actually play. So, this is season number nine. And he's the starting small forward playing 31 minutes a game. So, we'll see how that goes down. He's probably small forward now because of how well he rebounds the ball. So, you know, that makes sense. But let's uh, get to our next challenge. We have literally won every single challenge. And Leangelo is somehow only an 85 overall. Like, that is actually insane. Like, I, I am very shocked that's happened. And now we have a Mario Kart race. All right. Just prepare to sweat my nuts off. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Got to play smart and get lucky and just hope I don't get, I know, you know, just hit with a bunch of items randomly. Because this, this is one of the few challenges on the wheel that is half skill and just half random nonsense. Oh, okay. Well, so far, it's it's me being bad because this is one of the worst maps in Mario Kart history with that expansion pack they added with whatever. This is easily just the most disgusting map I've ever seen in my life. But, you know, we'll see. Gonna try to get my way to the top here. Okay. I still have yet to get a box. Okay, she missed the double box. And I, I didn't get... There's no way I didn't get that double box. That is insane. Whatever. Oh, fireballs. Nice. Please stop spamming fireballs. And I have a red shell. That's not really going to do too much for me. But I'm in third place right now, so maybe I, can, I should hold on to this. That might be some... That might be a good strategy. Not doing too bad. Oh, freaking hell. Well, that couldn't have gone any worse. I, I just don't know the layout of this map that well. And this map is just one of the most poorly designed Mario Kart maps I've ever seen in my life. So, all right, we got a star. That, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take that. And we're back in second. So, I guess I should stop crying. I got a real chance here to just keep myself within top three. That is the goal. I don't care about anything else. I want to be top three. But we're going to play it smart. We're going to play patient. We're going to do our thing. Please stay on the road. Okay, that could have been very bad. Got the double boxes long. Okay, I am not in first, so we're good there. And I'm going to come in second. Yeah, all right. Okay, I will take second place. And that is another challenge complete on the miracle wall, or on the challenge wall. I've literally not lost one challenge yet. I've won every single challenge so far this video. Let's go ahead and see what's going to happen to Leangelo. We just got to get him up to be the superstar. I think all of you want to see him become a superstar. So we, we got to get to that point. And we got RNG overall. All right, let's try this again. Pick an R between 85 and 99. That would be 86. Oh my dude, I I I just I I, I can't I, no, I'm getting trolled, bro. This is a literal troll. I'm now going to go up to an 86 overall, man. Like that is so cool. Like I just don't like literally like both times, like the odds both times we get this, and if for to be 85 and then 86 it is just is, is just insane. But whatever. What are you gonna do? Lando playing 32 minutes. Let's see if we can win a championship with this whack ass team. This team sucks, so probably not. Okay, and Luca once again is your MVP, Zach Evans, rookie of the year, Ron Holland, six man of the year, Evan Mobile defensive player of the year Claude McMillan most improving Mark Dagnut for the Thunder coach of the year let's see if our guy Leangelo back to back makes an NBA team look at that LaMelo and Lonzo on the third team and Leangelo on the second team surpassing his brothers as the best ball brothers so that congratulations to Leangelo for that one anyway somehow the Jazz made the, the playoffs and are the fourth seed so they either had to have made a big trade or something because this, this team is poo poo dog water so I don't, I don't know how they did it Leangelo averaged 19 10 and 7 so I mean that, that helps out a lot they got this guy Benedict Matherin, uh, Young Lung Chan. Okay, he was already on the team. They got uh, Isaiah Jackson. Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't know who the hell they got. I mean, it looks like pretty much the same damn team, and they just somehow were the fourth seed. Anyway, let's simulate the first round here. We got the Portland Trail Blazers. Game one, we take. Game two, we take. Game three, we take. Are really, really gonna get past the first round with this whack ass team? I'd be wow. Okay. Now we have the Nuggets, who were the eighth seed, so we could really get to the conference finals with this just god awful team. Game one, we take. Game two, they take. Game three, we take. Game Game four, we take, and 
I have no idea what's going on. Now it's where all the fun ends. They have Towns and Anthony Edwards. They're going to shit on us. That's it. It's all over from here. Game one, we take. Game two, we take. Game three, <laughs> Uh, like, like, is it really gonna be okay? Okay, not there's not three gentlemen suites, but we got to go to Simcast. I really don't like Mitchell. Must be averaging like 35 a game. Leandro's got to be giving us like 20, 10 rebounds and nine assists, like something crazy. And we're actually gonna go to the finals with this awful team. D Mitch had 34. What's he averaging in the playoffs? He averaging 26. Okay, Ch Ch I think it's Young Long John. If I'm not getting, if I'm wrong, my bad. I don't know if he's in a real place. Not even a real player. Okay, anyway, 17 points a game. He's playing really well. Isaiah Jackson's doing his thing. What about Leandro Ball? He's averaging okay. Leandro's averaging the same numbers he averaged in the regular season. Just I don't, I don't know. Man. And he played really bad in this game. He shot two for 11. And now we're playing our former team, the team we won it all with, the Detroit Pistons. And let's see who they got. Like, look at this, bro. Look at this big three. Look, look how many rings we could have won if we stayed on this team. Leangelo Ball, Halliburton, Victor, and Cade Cunningham, bro. Like, like this would have been an insane team. And they have Taco. If you didn't go see my Taco career revival, go ahead and check that one out too. That one's um doing pretty pretty well. And also Bull Bull as well. And then also the 40 overall. I know I'm just self promoing, but you know, might as well. It's, you're on my video. Why not? There's no way we beat this team. We don't even have a 90 overall on the roster. So here we go. Game one, they take. Game two, they take. Game three, somehow we win a game. Okay, there we go. 3-1. And I will do the due diligence of Sim Casting because it is the finals. It's the last series of the playoffs, but they're going to smoke us and they're going to go in and win the championship because there's no way we should have even been in the playoffs, let alone the finals. So, I mean, or maybe the other way around. Whatever whatever way there is to say that, but still, we had no chance of beating these guys. They're way better than us. Pistons are the champions. Victor finals MVP. No shocker there. Anyway, player progression. Somehow, Leangelo ball went up two overalls okay so weirdly just goes up and down overalls for the first six years of his career then finally wants to actually take his potential seriously and goes up two overalls so you know what what, what, what the hell man it, it is what it is but this team has got awful leangelo is gonna have to carry this team to the promised land i don't think he can do it but you know we'll see dude how old is leangelo at this point he is he uh, how is how okay 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 hold on hold on hold on how is leangelo the best player on the team and he's coming off the bench i can't def i don't know what to do that but he's gonna be 32 years old in November, so he's already getting up there in age. We gotta press it down. We gotta get him up to a 90, 95 around there, bro. And here we go with the next challenge again. We have yet to lose a challenge. Like, we've won every single challenge. What do we got now? Flip a coin, Tails. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and flip the coin. Three, two, one, flip. It's gotta be Tails. Tails never fails, and it never fails. We still have won every single challenge in this video, and Leangelo was only an 87 overall. Just, just fathom that in your brain. Let's see if we can make him somehow get just a little better what do we got here on the miracle wheel we have choose five attributes to make 99 so this is up to me i can choose any five attributes for him to go up to a 99 overall sir that the attributes themselves will go up to 99 so let's see what i choose all right so what are his weaknesses i mean dunk up to a 90 would be nice that that, that wouldn't be bad to have that might be one of them that i do i would definitely like to get speed with oh i would i need to get his athleticism up that would be smart I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make his speed and excel both back up to 99 that that's got to be the move okay so those are my first two those are his two I think I'm gonna do strength and vertical, maybe. Oh, stamina should be up too, so we can play longer minutes. I don't know if stamina really matters like that in 2K. So, oh, intangibles. Oh, yeah. Okay, intangibles should go up to a 99. That'd be a smart one to do. So I'm gonna bump that all the way to a 99. He went to a 92 overall. His position's still at a 92, and then I have to do one more. I'm deciding on between strength, vertical, or his dunk. Or maybe even perimeter defense. That might not be a bad one either. Offensive consistency 67. You know what? I'm gonna make this a 99. I think that's smart. So he's just he just becomes a beast. Maybe that's not the best one to choose, but I, I think I'd show is all the best ones, so we'll see what happens. Oh, now he's gonna start. Like, well, I don't know how he wasn't starting before. The man was literally the best player on the team, and now Leangelo Ball, after, what, 10 seasons is officially over a 90 overall, heading into Superstar. I'm excited to see if he can win the championships as the best player. Hopefully he can. We just somehow got to the finals with this terrible team. We'll see if we can do it again. Okay, and Ben Simmons is your MVP averaging 12, 7, and 12, if this ever happens. I mean, listen, I hope Ben one day turns to a superstar, but he should not win MVP averaging 12, 7, and 12. That's for sure. Uh, Alan Nichols, Rookie of the Year. Stanley Matthews, Sixth Man of the Year, Defensive Player of the Year. Mobley, Most Improved, High Rivers, and Coach of the Year, Chris Finch. Let's see if Leangelo made an NBA team, and there he is on All-NBA third team, but um, LaMelo made the second team, so, you know, it is what it is. And the Jazz are the fifth seed. I mean, um, again, we're not surprised. This team sucks. Le Leangelo's straight carrying. And let's see what he averaged. He averaged 18. Bro, Mitchell's taking all the damn shots, bro. That's what's happening here. Le Leangelo averaged 18 a game, 11 rebounds, 8 assists. I mean, he's still stuffing the stat sheet, shooting nearly 50% from the field, 40% from three, and... Yeah, didn't miss a free throw. <laughs> he just didn't miss a free throw the entire season. Well,
Well, here we go. We got the Spurs in the first round. Game one, we take. Game two, we take. Game three, we take. And that's going to be a sweep. No? Okay. Gentlemen sweep? Yep. Okay. Now we have Minnesota, the number one seed. We should lose here. We don't have assets to take down this team. Game one, we take. Game two, they take. Game three, they take. Game four. Okay. We're going to get a Simcast at least. And we're up 3 2. I don't know how a team of Leangelo Ball, 86 overall, D Mitch, and a bunch of bums is winning basketball games. But, you know, apparently Leangelo Ball has been the key to success. And uh, looks like we're going to be taking our talents to the conference finals. D Mitch with 12. What is D Mitch averaging? He's averaging 23 in the playoffs. Landry's averaging 18, 14, and 8. Oh, my God. And now we have Portland in the conference finals. Here we go. Game 1, we take. Game 2, we take. Game 3, they take. Game 4. All right, we're going to have a Simcast, and we're up 3-2. We, sorry, we have been the team that goes up 3-2 every single time except for one. But um, looks like this one might be... A, we haven't had a content game in a little while. I'd like to get some content. You know, that'd be pretty cool, but uh, I don't think we're going to get it. Yeah, no, we're not. Uh, Yeah, no, no, we're not going to get it. Guess we'll see the boss score here. Leangelo Ball with a triple-double in Game 6, 28-13 and 10. Stuff in the stat sheet doing his thing that's amazing and now we're back to back round two with the pistons i mean look we, we, we have no shot but we'll, we'll check we'll check out their team they still got their big three they got mikhail bridges now they got shade and sharp they got barney bennett i don't know who that is but you know that that's great they got a great team here we go. Game one, Pistons take. Game two, Pistons take. Game three, we got a game. Game four, Pistons take. Game we'll simcast for fun. <clears throat> Not like it's really gonna matter. We just again don't have the assets to take down the Pistons. The Leangelo needs to leave Utah and join a team that's actually good and can contend. Like he needs to pull some KD shit and go to an overpowered ass team because we're not beating Detroit. Leangelo had a triple double in Game five, 19, 11, and eleven. Did his thing, but again, we're just not gonna stop this team. They're too good. Pistons are the champions. Tyrese Halliburton Finals MVP, averaging eighteen and fifteen. Like that is ridiculous. All right, player progression and. LiAngelo Ball answered my call and actually left this terrible team because our best player was going to be an 82 overall, Donovan Mitchell. I don't think that's very good. So we're going to simulate to the next season and we'll find out where he ended up going. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All right, where did LiAngelo go? He went to the Grizzlies on a one-year deal for $30 million. So not bad. And he's a 94 overall now. Look at that. All the Ball brothers are at 90 overall and above, man. Isn't that, isn't that just an amazing sight? Let's check out the team. Okay, this team is... They don't have John anymore. So that's, that's pretty bad but they got jaron jackson uh they got this guy wally phillips this team is almost as bad as the other team we just had except we have jaron jackson that, that's about it but this does mean that leandro's probably gonna stuff the statue because he's the number one scoring option now not donovan mitchell anymore so he's gonna really ball out this season for the grizzlies and we have a random nfl team made playoffs all right so here we are on the random nfl team generator i'm going to click submit and if the team was a playoff team last season then i'm gonna get the win so here we go three two one submit and we got the Rams, who were a playoff team and won the damn Super Bowl. I know it says St. Louis, but you know, you know what I mean. The LA Rams now, whatever. It's the Rams. They won the damn Super Bowl, so there we go. I gotta say, we have been incredibly lucky this entire video. And for Le like Leandro right now should be like a 99 all maxed out right now. Just how much things we've won. Max height. Okay, that yeah. All right, seven seven Leandro Ball is gonna look pretty good. That is actually gonna make him so calm. What overall is he gonna go up to? He went up to a 95, but now he's a seven seven shooting guard. He is going to be unstoppable. Oh my god, no, this is insane bro <laughs> look at look at liangelo bro oh my god who is going to guard liangelo and now he's gonna get rebounds like crazy he already has all 99s in his rebound attributes like he's gonna go insane guess we'll go ahead and sim out the season and see if uh 7 7 liangelo can take the grizzlies to the promised land okay and Le liangelo god what is wrong with me lamello ball mvp averaging 33 7 and 8 on the spurs donta hill rookie of the year six man of the year rod holland defensive player mobley most improved i thought liangelo was gonna have a shot at this because i thought he was gonna really light it up but we'll see what he actually did coach year mark dagnut for the thunder and lamella made first team all nba what about our guy um liangelo made second team all nba and the grizzlies were the fourth seed so we're going to get the spurs in the first round let's check out the stats bro how is liangelo 7 7 and not averaging like 20 rebounds a game like i don't i don't know how he's not doing that but still average 19 12 and 9 still some very good numbers so i'm not gonna hate on it so let's go ahead and see what these plus we got the spurs as i just said five seconds ago but anyway here we go game one memphis wins game two memphis wins game three memphis wins and we're gonna have a sweep our, I, that, that might be our first sweep of the entire video we've had plenty of gentlemen sweep that might be our first sweep now we have okc who's probably a very stacked team with a bunch of young very good players but um they're up 2-1 then 2-2 two -two, so we're getting a simcast game and we're up 3-2 we have been very lucky throughout most of this video every single time it, it's a 2-2 two -two, us going up 3-2 literally have won every single challenge on the miracle wheel or on the challenge wheel, whatever it may be but um this is not a content game it was actually pretty close for a while but then the thunder went on a run so we're gonna have a game seven and leandro had 25 9 and 11 this guy Phillips at 26, but um, I 
guess we just got our ass cooked by a bunch of random young guys. Now we got to prove it all in game seven. We just started on a huge run. A amazing first quarter. And that might just be enough to take us over the top. And um, yeah, I think that's actually going to do it. Yeah, that, it, the game was over after that first quarter. That was it. LiAngelo with 26, 12, and 11. A triple double in game seven, bro. That, I mean, what, what else could you ask for, bro? That, that, that's the best you could play. And now we have Minnesota who's got Ant. They got Towns, whatever it may be. But here we go. Game one, they take. Game two, they take. Game three, we got one. Game four, we got another one. Game five, we always win game five. LiAngelo Ball is like the greatest game five performer of all time. The man has lost one game five his entire career. The man doesn't lose. I mean, like when it's two to two, he doesn't lose that game five ever. Anyway, let's hope to close them out and LiAngelo hopefully get into the NBA Finals as the best player on the team. Potentially could win a championship as the best player. We would love to see all that stuff. I also want to see some content. So if this could be a content game, uh, that'd be great. But I don't think it's going to be. We're going to be going to seven games. And here we go with game seven. Just got to keep it close. Give us a content game. We haven't had one in a while. Oh, my God. Minnesota just had 50 points in the third quarter. And that is going to go ahead and do it. Not really much you can do about that one. Ant having 40. Towns having another triple-double. I mean, wh what else could you do? So now we'll simulate the playoffs. And the Timberwolves are the champions. Towns getting himself a ring. Congratulations. Here is player progression. And something just weirdly enough, Trey Young is now on the Grizzlies. And LiAngelo Ball is gone from this team. So we'll see where he ended up. We'll go to the next season. We'll figure it out. And LiAngelo is back on the Pistons. Oh my God. Is that going to be the greatest team of all time? We're going to go find out. And let's look at the Pistons. The, the entire team left. Literally the entire team left. There's no Halliburton. There's no Cade Cunningham. There's no Victor. They just sent us here to die. Like, I, I just don't understand. We, we got Mikhail Bridges still here. We got Barney Bennett, bro. Like, there's just no way this happened. But I guess if anything were to happen in this video, that would be unlucky. I guess that's fair because we've, we've been pretty lucky this entire video with, you know, just winning playoff series in general and then also the Miracle Well within itself. And we have the Weddle. That's that's football, right? That's the football version of Potal. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All right, so let's go ahead and guess today's Weddle. We're going to guess Josh Allen. Start out with my guy, my quarterback. I'm not a Bills fan. I just love Josh Allen. He's a great player. But, um, yeah, Josh Allen. Okay, so the players in the AFC. He's not a quarterback and he's 25 or 24 years old. Okay, I got it. Alright, so not a quarterback. He's a fairly young player, so maybe it could be a, a receiver. I mean, we could just try other divisions, stuff like that, and just kind of figure it out from there. Um, let's try like uh, let's try like Deontay Johnson. That, that, that's that's not a bad guess. Okay, so he's not in the AFC North. He's um, shorter than 5'10". Jesus Christ. And he's 25 years old, so a very short receiver. My guess would be Miko Hartman. I don't really know any other... Sh oh, it's not a receiver. I'm stupid. It's a running back. Wow, this is a very short running back. So he's a 5'9 running back. Okay, I gotta think. So the Colts have Jonathan Taylor. That man is not 5'9". They have, um, there's Derrick Henry. He's not 5'9". The Texans have, what, like, Mark Ingram and Rex Burkhead and whatever else. Those guys, Mark Ingram might be 5'9", but he's not 25 years old, so that's not gonna make any sense. The hell is that dude's name? The Mark, nah, what the hell is that? J James, James Robinson, something like that. J is it James Robinson? Is that, no, okay. So it's not James Robinson, but he's in the AFC South. He's a running back and he's 5'9". But wait, I just named all the teams. Wait, is, is Jonathan Taylor actually 5'9"? No, there's no way that guy's 5'9". There's no shot that man is 5'9". Oh, wait, is it Philip Lindsay? It could be Philip Lindsay, but I don't know if Philip Lindsay's 25. Is it Phil? It's not Philip Lindsay. Wait, Jonathan Taylor is actually 5'9"? I, I did not know that. That is that is pretty weird, but uh, it's not... What? Who is the running? Oh, it's Hines. 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 It's Naheem Hines. Okay. Okay. There we go. I, I didn't even think of Hines for some reason, but um, yeah, I actually thought Phil Lindsay was still in um was still in Houston, but um, yeah. All right. Well, we, we got it right though. We, I only had a few guesses left, so I just barely got it. Anyway, here we go with another spin of the miracle wheel. What do we have in store for LiAngelo Ball to potentially make him in a 99 overall? Unlock all shooting badges. That that one's pretty good. That's a yeah. That's a pretty good one. So we're going the badges. We're going to outside scoring, and he pretty much has a lot of these already on gold so we're just making all of them all in hall of fame so you know it, it is what it is though but now he's a 98 overall so i guess i don't know why i'm complaining he has three left on his contract he'll be 34 in november so he's still you know in the midst of his prime man he's, he's a bucket right now all right and gregory jackson is your mvp marcus young rookie of the year i'm not even gonna six man of the year defensive player of the year evan mobley wallace curry okay most improved and mark dagnut coach of the year leangelo ball making all nba first team for the first time in his career. believe the wait did he actually make it one of the time randomly i, I don't actually 
actually, I actually don't know. He, I know he's made second team a fair amount of times, but still, first team All NBA. It's a great accomplishment, and he's now officially at this point a 99 overall. Let's give a round of applause to Angelo Ball. The miracle will does wonders for everyone. It, it may not work out in the beginning, but just progressively we got better and better and better. Had some fallbacks, but we're here now as one of the best players in the league, or probably the best player. And the Pistons are the fifth seed, so Leandro is able to carry this whack ass team somehow to be a playoff contender. Let's see the stats. Leandro averaging 21, 12, and 9, bro. Shooting 50% from the field, 47% from three, and 97% from the free throw line. Man, we got this guy Livingston putting up some buckets. We got this guy Kanan Carlisle. I think I said that right, but um, yeah, again, we got some scores here. Not really gonna, not really making too much of it because we're not a good team. So, but you know, we'll see. Playing Philly in the first round, I think Embiid retired at this point. So, um, yeah, I don't know who they got anymore. But uh, we're up 2-1. It's 2-2, two two, so we're gonna have a simcast. And for the first time, or for the second time, Leandro loses a game five when it is two to two. So let's see if we could somehow force a game seven against Philly. I have no idea. I don't even. Yeah, I don't even know. Maybe he's still Maxi. I don't, I don't know who's hanging around in Philly, but um, I know not me. I'm in Jersey now, not in Philly anymore. But we're taking it to a game seven. Leandro with 22, 12, and seven doing his thing. So they got. Oh, they have Jalen Green. Oh my. Oh my God. He's ever 36 points per game in the play. And they have Ben Simmons. How ironic is that? All right. Well, we got ourselves a game seven. Pistons going on a great run. We're actually going to close this out. We're going to the second round, baby. Leandro closing it out with a triple double. Always plays big in game sevens. You got to give him that. And now we're playing the Magic, who were probably a very good team. Maybe, you know, Cade Cunningham took his talents there. I don't know. But here we go. Game two, we take. Game three, we take. Game four, we take. And a gentleman's sweep. Wow, that was impressive. And now we have the Pacers. Maybe Halliburton went back to the Pacers. I don't know. But uh, here we go. Game one, we take. Game two, we take. Game three, we take in a sweep. Okay, no. They got a, they got a game on us. And we're going Going to the finals with this whack-ass team with Leangelo Ball's 7-7 seven, seven shooting guard leading the way. And we're going to be playing the Trailblazers in the finals. And the Blazers have Anthony Black. They got Aiton. They got Terrell Neely. They got a, you know, a solid team, but they don't got anyone nearly as good as our guy, Leangelo Ball. So we should close this out. Here we go. Game one, they take. Game two, we take. Game three, they take. Game four, Leangelo, you have an almost unbeaten record in game fives when series are tied 2-2. Two do not take this opportunity to blow that record. So here we go. Game five. They win. I knew I could trust Leangelo to never lose those game fives when it's two to two. And he just going off the resume. Does it again, man. We have not gotten a content game in so long, man. This is kind of, man, that's, I really want to get some content with 7-7 Leangelo Ball. But it um, looks like they won the championship. That is two championships for Leangelo Ball. Meaning there's going to be $20 given away on my Twitter. Leangelo with 25, 15, and 12. Anthony Black with 21, 7, and 6. I really do hope to get some content content with Leandro Ball by the end of this video. I'm really hoping so. So I'm going to keep trying these simcasts and hope we just get some close games. But that's two rings for Leandro. One where he was, you know, kind of a role player. And, um, you know, he, he played a vital role though. He, he was big in those finals games. But, um, yeah, he averaged 25, 12, and 9, bro. Here is player progression. Leandro Ball going down three overall, down two overalls. I don't really know what happened here. It says he went up three overalls, but I guess I'm, or maybe his morale got him to a 99. I'm not really sure what happened here, but, um, yeah, he's, an, he's a 97 now. So, you know, whatever. I mean, how much better can Leandro Ball really get? I mean, he's gotten to be a pretty damn good player. How much better is he going to get? A random NBA player, even jersey number. All right. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and click generate. And whatever player it is, he has to have an even jersey number when he's playing right now. So like some of these pitchers might be old. It might be like um like Harden on like the Nets or something like that. It has to be what his current day jersey number is. So here we go. Three, two, one. Generate. We have Mikhail Bridges. I actually don't know what Mikhail Bridges' jersey number is. So I'm actually going to look it up. And well, it's 25. So this is our first, you know, we were due. <laughs> this was our first challenge we have lost we've won like how many straight like 13 straight miracle rule challenges like that'll probably never happen again so you know i'm very understanding to losing our first challenge here so we're just gonna go ahead and simulate the season and see if leangelo can go back to back on this whack-ass pistons team oh i just skipped through all the awards i got i got caught up okay <laughs> let, me, let me let me let me go see if he won mvp okay so xavier booker won the mvp all right cool and where's all nba second uh, first team or what about second team okay leangelo made all nba second team with lonzo okay all right well, anyway, we're the, we're the second seed. Nonetheless, we're the, we're the second seed. And Leangelo averaging 20, 12, and 8. But someone, Chris Livingston, is outscoring him this season, averaging 24 a game. So, I mean, maybe we got a shot to win the ring back-to-back -back if someone else is going to score more than Leangelo. So, here we go against Cleveland. Game 1, we take. Game 2, we take. Game 3, they take. Game 4, we take. And a gentleman's sweep. Nope. Okay, we're going to Simcast. And they're kind of smoking us here right now. If we can possibly make a comeback just to get some content, that'd be really cool. That'd be awesome. Awesome, man, because I want to like actually see 7 7 Leangelo against other players, but I guess not. Okay, we're gonna go to game seven. For the love of God, give the people what they want. You know, maybe they don't care about a game seven in the first round, but they do care about seeing Leangelo.
possible ball shine on the big stage. We're down to the final minute, and I think this is over. Yeah, they're up. Mm, four. No, it's just not. Yet. Okay, okay, two point game. Okay, okay. This we'll watch. We'll, we'll watch this. This is the content we've been waiting for. 7-7 seven, seven, LiAngelo at shooting guard spot. I don't even know who's guarding him right now. You got to give him the ball. How do you not get LiAngelo the ball right here? What? Livingston 3? He bricked it. Oh, my God. That, are they actually going to choke this game? He gave it to Mobley. Mobley to Webb. Missed the shot. That's game. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, th that was some bad Cleveland offense, but eh, whatever. And DeSoma was really good in the Sims, so I didn't even know we had him. Knocked down this free throw, and we are out of here. Let's check out the stats. Leandro with 19, 12, and 9. So, you know, he didn't shoot too well from the field, but I mean, neither did DeSoma. So, man, I don't know what was going on with this team. On to the second round, playing the Pacers. So, we'll see what happens here. Game 1, they take. Game 2, that's theirs. Game 3, that's us. Game 4, they go up 3-1, and a gentleman's sweep. So, we were not able to go back back to back kings are your champions brandon ingram winning a championship averaging 18 a game that's insane here is player progression uh oh okay listen it is fair though he's getting old he's about to be 36 years old so you know it is fair he starts going down but the miracle will can save him so we'll see if that ends up happening here we are with season number 13 14 whatever it is but leangelo 95 overall could the best player on the team i mean although that other guy livingston played very well so i mean i can't really hate on that and let's see what our next challenge is not too many left i mean leangelo's gonna be good for a little while longer but you know still we're still getting to that point and we got to do today's wordle so we've literally done the wordle the potal and the weddle all in one video all right let's start off simple with pound i always like to start off with pound let's see what we got we got an oh i haven't done wordle in probably like a month so um yeah i'm gonna be a little rusty here so we got an oh i'm gonna go with like so let's see what we got now we got nothing from that okay that is pretty bad is train a word is okay i can do trays though right okay so we got an a wow there is like uh, okay so we got our vowels i guess how about macho is that is that okay macho is a word there we got the a c and o all right that worked out this is a weird word i'm gonna type waves just to take out w and v okay so it's not w and v all right so i gotta i gotta get this word right it, it, it's gotta it's gotta be f or b or something dude jackbo Oh my god. I'm about to take my L, bro. I feel like I don't even deserve to win this one. All right, I'm not going to lie. I give up. I'm just going to I'm just I'm just going to type right and just see what the word is. I'll take my L on this. I have no idea what this word is. What the hell is a cacao? It was literally all the I already had all the letters. It was just all C A C O. There was no way I was getting that. There was no shot in the world I was getting cacao. A cacao is a seed from a small tropical American evergreen tree, the tree. What? I guess we move on and we'll see if we can win a championship. I, I Back to back gears with no miracle will spin, although I did win like 13 in a row, so I'm not gonna complain. All right, and Leangelo Ball finally getting the respect he deserves. Looks like he shed it off some pounds there, built off some muscle, but looks like he's the MVP, averaging 25, 13, and 9, shooting 99% from the free throw line, 42% from three, and 47% from the field, leading the Pistons to the third seed. So good for him. We got Josh Sullivan, rookie of the year, Marcus Young, sixth man of the year, the Moby defensive player of the year, Tyler Gray, most improved, and Billy Donovan, coach of the year. Let's see if Leangelo made a defensive team. That'd be pretty cool, but uh, doubt it. Yeah, no. And as I said, third seed, we're playing Milwaukee. Giannis at this Points retired, so you know we'll be all right. And here's our team. Wow, this guy Livingston put up 25 right with us. Obviously, he didn't get the 13 rebounds and nine assists, but still, he, he's our he's our right hand man, I guess. Anyway, here we go versus the Bucks. Game one, we take. Game two, we take. Game three, they take. Game four, okay. Again, Leangelo, your reputation of losing game fives doesn't exist, and we lost one. He's like, what? I don't even know. I, I have no idea. I think we've lost three or four game fives when it is two to two. Either one of those, but looks like we're going to a game seven. Leangelo with 31, 12, and 14, man. It's so crazy to see his career just completely flip around after being blessed by the Miracle Wheel, man. It's a great sight. We just want a content game. Give us a chance to where the game's close, and Leangelo Ball has the ball in his hands to potentially win a playoff series. I don't think we're getting that. Yeah, no, there's a blow out. Yeah, we just lost to Milwaukee. They scored 160 points in game seven. That is ridiculous. Not much we can really do. That. This guy, Conrad Kerr with eight, oh, 81. He <laughs> with 40 points. Matthews with 28 and 15. Like, what are we gonna do? Is this like an old Zion? Yeah, okay. He's still very good. And just like that, we are out of the playoffs again. You know, what are you gonna do when the Raptors are the champions? Tyrese Halliburton went to Toronto, I guess, after not wanting to play with us in Detroit. So, you know. And here is player progression and our guy is gone and Jason Tatum decided to join the team. Don't really know what for, but our guy is gone. And he is on the Utah Jazz, so he's back in Utah, but Demis just retired, so he's not there, and it looks like Lonzo retired? Damn, that's tough. And here's the team. We got Cole Anthony, who can play. We got this guy Gregory Jackson. This is, okay, listen, bro. We got two 90s on a team, and in this watered-down league, that's probably enough to win a championship, so we'll see what we can do, but the team's ass outside of those two guys, and Cole Anthony puts up numbers in the sim, and Leandro's about to be 37 years old, so I don't know how many years he has left, but he's still one of the best players in the league, so, you know, we're not gonna worry about it. And your back-to-back -back MVP, Leandro Ball, averaging 21-13 
and eight. Listen, bro, he is just right now building up the resume. And we may have a shot at the championship with our two superstars. So we'll see what happens there. But uh, yeah, man. First team on me, obviously. I don't think he's ever made a defensive team. I mean, I'm not really surprised because he's never really gotten any attributes to help his defense. And what the hell do I know? Second team on defense with his brother. So what the hell? And the Jazz are the second seed. Again, we're not a very good team, but we just have, you know, two superstars. So, you know. Let's check out the stats. This guy, Gregory Jackson, put up some good numbers. Nothing too crazy. But uh, Cole Anthony averaging 14 a game. This guy, Pat Gordon, giving us 16. Isaac Chandler giving us 17 and 4. Okay. Let's see if we can get ourselves back to the NBA Finals after, like, how long ago? Like, four years ago? I don't even know. Whenever we were in Detroit. But, oh, God. That's that's great right there. Anyway, sorry. Excuse me. Anyway, here we go. Game 1 versus Suns. We lose. Game 2, we win. Game 3, we lose. Game 4, here we go. The, the patented Game 5, we win, of course. Oh, I just accidentally simmed. Oh, my God. I just accidentally simmed game. Okay. Well, there's no sim cast there. My bad on that. I accidentally just sim past game. Whatever. Okay. Whatever. Here we go. We got Houston now. Just say, uh, what are you going to do, bro? Listen, these Miracle World videos take a long time to put together and actually to record. So, you know, listen, I'm getting, we're, 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 toward, we're toward the end game. So, you know, we can still win some championships and Leandro's playing his best basketball right now. So, I'm still into it, but still, you get the point. But here we go. Game three. Houston takes game four. Houston takes in a gentleman's sweep. Nope. Okay. We got a shot. And this time, I won't just simulate the game for no reason. We're actually going to sim cast it and give us some content because we want to see Leandro Ball in action and see him. Nope. Okay, cool. We're going to get blown out. That's awesome. They have Jabari Smith Jr. Okay. Well, that guy's pretty good. They got Ross Hardy. Don't know who that is, but um, yeah, they just got carried by uh, Jabari Smith. And Leangelo had 17, 22, and 7. Not really. I don't really know what else he was supposed to do in this, in this game, but uh, okay. Let's go ahead and simulate the playoffs and see who wins the championship. And it is the Sixers with Jay Hopkins. Here's some retirements. Jason Tatum, Jared Allen. When the I, think I, have to, I have to scroll down here because, yeah, wow. I was like, wait, I have to scroll down because there's a chance Leangelo might actually retire and he hasn't played in the league as long as everyone else here. So yeah, after 13 seasons, Leangelo Ball, after winning the MVP, is going to go ahead and call acting like he's freaking Tom Brady or something. So um, yeah, wow. But if you take a look at his career, man, he had a lot of great seasons, put up some great numbers. His career averages of 18 or I guess 19, 8, and 7, shooting 49% from the field, 44% from 3, 98% from the free throw line, scoring 20,000 points in his career, 9,000 rebounds, 8,000 assists, 1,500 steals, 1,200 blocks. That's a lot of turnovers, but you know, what are you going to do? And he knocked down 2,303. So he's not going to be over or anything like that, but still, he made plenty of three-point shots. And here's his accolades. A two-time MVP, a two-time NBA champion, which one of them he won finals MVP. The other one, it was Cade. He won that one. Six-time All-Star. First team All-NBA three times. Second team All-NBA four times and made third team one time. Made a few defensive teams, or maybe he just made that one second team one time, but you know. His career high was 43. Okay, field goals made 17. Three-pointers in a game made nine. Free throws made 13. Again, I want to see rebounds. 25 rebounds in a game. 15 offensive rebounds in a game. 18 assists in a game. 8 steals. Uh, 6 blocks. 46 minutes played. So, I'm um, just a, just had a phenomenal career. Bouncing back on what was looking like potentially would never make the NBA again. And now, you know, I hope in real life he, you know, finds a way into the NBA. But, um, you know, all we can really do is do it from this lens. So, you know. And I guess we'll look at NBA records. He scored 20,000 points. So, I don't think he's going to be even on the scale. Maybe at the bottom end of it. Maybe. I don't know why Joe Johnson's here twice. Uh, But, uh, yeah. I don't think he's here. Yeah. He's not here for the... Wow. Even Cole Anthony scored more than Langell. Langell only played 13 seasons. I mean, he played one year in the beginning, but he wasn't even in the league. He was like in, in the G League. So yeah, he won't make an appearance for literally any of these, but he... he wow, look at LaMelo and Lonzo, bro. Damn, they're right next to each other, bro. Like, that's crazy. And Leandro just all the way down. He could be here for rebounds, though. He did grab a lot of rebounds. I don't know, though, because again, he did only play 13 seasons. So it just it's just kind of tough to get on these top tier lists when he's just not really... I, I think he had under this... Yeah, he had under uh, 10,000 for sure, though. There he is, right at 86 all-time for rebounds. So yeah, there's really no point in looking at all these stats because he's just not going to hit them because he just didn't play that long. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the career revival of Leangelo Ball. It's been a lot of fun. I know it was definitely, I mean, it was probably still a long video, but again, it just, the journey was fun. Um, and seeing him get better, get worse, get better, get worse and retiring as an MVP, man, he definitely has the resume to back it up. He probably, I don't know, I don't know Lonzo and LaMelo's resumes, but he definitely stacked up with them toward the end of his career. So he did really well. I'll go ahead and show the screenshots of the cash apps right now. Maybe I sent it to one person, two people. I don't know what it is, but, um, yeah, I sent $20 out on Twitter. So if you want to be a part of those, go ahead and follow my Twitter. But, um, yeah, let me know what you want to see next. Maybe what rebuild you want to see next. What uh, career revival you want to see. What uh, other video you want to see next. Anything else. Whatever that may be. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. One finger. One pinky. One thumb. One love. I'm out, y'all. Peace. Fade the black. What a ride, man. What a ride. What a video.